As the State 4-H program leader, I received the grant opportunity from National 4-H Council to um, offer us an opportunity to develop a, a youth mentoring program for the state of Indiana. We started looking at a different delivery model called 4-H Tech Wizards and knowing Jim Becker's uh, background with technology here in our Marion County office, we decided we'd talk with Jim about the potential to develop a Tech Wizards program in Indianapolis. We were given an opportunity to work with a grant called Tech Wizards, which uh, comes from the Department of uh, Juvenile Justice and uh, Delinquency Prevention. The funding for that allows for developing clubs at different sites focused on lower income areas, but they're also looking for groups that have been underserved by 4-H. For me, robots are still some kind of far distant, you know, idea, and so I'd never really been so close to one or even really fathomed how they could work. So when we went to do our robotics training, I looked at the box and I was like, that's not a robot, that's a box. And so when we put it together, I was really surprised at what it could become and you know how you could work to actually build something like that. Certainly in a city the size of Indianapolis, there was plenty of opportunity waiting for us. I mean, it really was a matter of finding uh, community partners that would be willing to help us launch 4-H experiences for the young people they were already serving. 4-H has developed over the years into a program, doing programs in agriculture and being largely a rural program to being something that works a lot with uh, STEM and science, technology, engineering, and math type projects. So it's, uh, it's come a long ways. Generally, we don't program uh, with gender-specific types of 4-H uh, clubs or opportunities. But given the culture in this particular community, that's what um, made sense. It's culturally relevant for us. Particularly when you start talking about engineering fields, we know that women are a minority in an engineering environment. So it's appropriate for us to work specifically with girls to try to encourage more young women to, to think about a future um, in a different type of a field. I think we don't pitch it enough to girls, which is why this program is so good, because I'm like, I'm good at this, and I wouldn't have known if I hadn't done this program. I've had engineering classes after my own classes, and I'll see this wave of guys come in, and I'm like, oh my god, and then you'll see this one girl come and grab her seat, and she's like, yes, I'm here. The boys are seeing what the girls are doing, and they're having fun, and they're like, when do we get it to do this? It's not just about the science and the projects, it's also about career development, learning to work with each other, developing problem-solving skills. It's exciting. I am excited for their community. I think they're gonna do a great job with it. If we let people know that this is the thing that girls can do, they'll do it. Because these are the jobs that are making money. And so we need to involve the kids that their parents aren't making much money or they're not used to seeing much money. We need to get them interested in the things that will make them money so that they're not suffering like many of their parents do.